Hi, I'm Stanley Wood, the producer at New Era Films, and our project is in development with the support of the film program at Argyle Alternative High School. I have worked on numerous projects and have been lucky enough to win such awards as Best New Talent at the 2006 Winnipeg Aboriginal Film Festival for my short, Finding Joe, and Best Supporting Actor at the 2010 American Indian Film Festival for my portrayal of George and of Mice and Men. I graduated in 2012 from NSI's New Voices program, where I produced my short film, A Terrible Day. Hi, I'm Kane Curtin, director of Shatterpoint. I've directed three short films, including Realm, which screened at WAF, the Winnipeg Aboriginal Film Festival, and Blood Memory, which screened at the 2013 AIFF in San Francisco. Blood Memory also won Best Short at WAF in the Cowichan Youth Film Festival last year, and will air on APTN this February. My vision for Shatterpoint is a dark, gritty look into Winnipeg's North End visually inspired by American History X and Gran Torino. Hi, I'm Andy McConnell and I'm the lead writer for the project. I'm passionate about writing and want to explore a career in journalism and screenwriting. I've written short screenplays, many short stories, and two comic books. I'm also the storyboard artist for Shatterpoint. Jason, an Aboriginal teenager, and his older brother Daryl are heavily involved with an inner-city gang, and they live with their little brother Ricky. Jason is a contradiction. Although capable of acts of violence, he also has a sense of responsibility. His efforts to shelter Ricky from the gang activities are evidence of this. One day, Jason's life is suddenly turned around when his best friend Eric is shot in a drive-by. Eric dies in Jason's arms. Luther, the gang leader, decides Jason must avenge Eric's death. When Jason is about to kill the murderer, he sees his target with a little boy, reminding him of Ricky. His conscience stops him, and he can't pull the trigger. Rushing home, Jason has an epiphany, escape the gang and take his brother with him, and they seek refuge across town with an aunt. When Luther discovers that Jason has disappeared, he is furious. He threatens Daryl that unless he finds his brother, he will suffer the consequences. Through his aunt, Jason connects with an addictions counselor, who was once a gang leader. He tells Jason, There are three ways to get out of a gang. Go to jail, get killed, or get help. Jason agrees and attends an alternative school. There he meets Jen, who connects him with Aboriginal spirituality, and where he develops his artistic talents. However, Jason has trouble adjusting. His recurring nightmares of the gang and his battle with his addictions cause him to relapse. He gets wasted and ends up in the drunk tank. Jason has a breakdown and confesses to Marshall his feelings of guilt for all the people he's hurt. He explains to Ricky why their lives have to change, and his relationship with Jen grows, as does his hope for a new life. His brother Daryl and the gang eventually find him. They beat him up and are about to abduct him, but he manages to escape. Luther then puts a price on Jason's head. Jason agrees to relocate and enter a safe house, and to cooperate with the police. Jason is saying goodbye to Jen, when Daryl and Luther suddenly show up. Daryl pulls his gun on Jason. Jason informs Daryl that the police have given him information. It was Luther who ordered the hit on his best friend Eric. Luther pulls out his gun. Jason lunges for it as it goes off, killing Daryl just as the police arrive. Jason cradles Daryl, comforting him in his dying moments. In the epilogue, Jason is making a difference and talking to a group of high school students. There are three ways to get out of a gang. Go to jail, get killed, or get help. Here are our primary and secondary target audiences. And we also have some exciting ideas about how to use social media. We will also be working with GAIN and their network. Gang Action Interagency Network is a network of agencies committed to taking action to address and solve the gang problem in Winnipeg. Our script has been created with the input from Argyle students, past and present, who've lived this story. Our distribution plan is to send the movie to film festivals where we hope to gain some critical acclaim. Bandwidth Digital Distribution is committing to a theatrical release with an MG of $20,000. Non-theatrical distribution would target an educational market, providing DVDs and study guides. And we have a working relationship with APTN and CBC, who we will approach in the future. Neo Era Films would like to thank you for your time and consideration. Miigwech.
Miigwech. Miigwech.